inshallah in today class we are going to discuss how we can find the eigen values and eigen vectors okay the first thing we have to remember is the characteristic equation i am not going in detail the concept because the video will become so lengthy just i am showing the method i am showing the method to find the eigen values and eigen vectors the first step is we know we must know what is characteristic equation determinant of a minus lambda i mod of a minus lambda i equals to 0 this a minus lambda i equals to characteristic equation if we solve the characteristic equation generally we get the values of lambda suppose it is 3 by 3 matrix then we get 3 values suppose 3 values okay for example 2 3 5 or some else so the values of lambda are called eigen values the values of lambda which satisfies the equation is called eigen values generally we get lambda in cube equation like this suppose example 4 lambda square minus lambda plus 5 plus 0 how not to how to solve the cube equation it is very easy by it we can take this from calculator calci from calculator we can take the values of lambda and the values of lambda are called eigen values or eigen vectors sorry eigen values or latent roots or characteristic we have three values the values of lambda which satisfies the characteristic equation are eigen values or we can say latent roots or characteristic roots now the next step is eigen vector the vector suppose the matrix x equals to x1 x2 x3 we say vector which satisfies the equation a minus lambda into x equals to 0 which satisfies the equation a minus lambda I into x equals to 0 is called eigen vector or characteristic vector suppose we get the values of lambda suppose we get 0 3 5 9 like this in first case we put the value of lambda 0 we solve for x the value of x is called eigen vector second again we keep the value of 3 again we keep the values of 9 to get three vectors so let me do this practically one example inshallah we go in detail for one example so see here let me solve one question find the eigen values and eigen vectors of the matrix let me denote the matrix by a now the starting step is we must write the characteristic equation of the matrix c so how what is the character equation a minus lambda equals to 0 how to write this was here characteristic equation this is the determinant just we add minus lambda with these three numbers 8 minus lambda 7 minus lambda 3 minus lambda whereas the other numbers remain same 8 minus lambda this remains same here 7 minus lambda see once more just you add minus lambda with these three numbers the remaining will remain same this is the characteristic equation a minus lambda equals to 0 a minus lambda equals to 0 means these three numbers are added with minus lambda the remaining remains the same now this is the determinant we know how to solve the determinant from the previous classes your basic classes of inter so let me do this this is the determinant that we solve this one how to start first we take 8 minus lambda into you had this row column you multiply this two minus this two so 7 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda this two minus minus into minus plus 4 4 is 16 okay now here always we change the sign of this if it is in minus we write plus if it is in plus you write minus so it is minus now you write in plus now you hide this column you multiply this to minus this to minus 6 into minus 6 into 3 minus lambda minus 6 into 3 minus lambda minus 2 into minus 4 is minus 8 again minus is minus minus plus 8 plus lastly 2 into 2 into now you hide here it's we we are having 7 minus lambda now you hide this column what is left here minus into minus plus 24 24 minus 2 into 7 minus lambda equals to 0 okay now let me solve this equation we saw if we solve this completely we will get a cube equation so let me solve this one you write this 8 minus lambda as it is now you multiply this 7 3 is 21 minus 7 into lambda 7 lambda minus into plus minus 3 into lambda 3 lambda minus into minus plus lambda square minus 16 plus 6 into you multiply this minus into plus minus 18 minus into minus plus 6 lambda 
So minus into plus minus 48 plus 2 into write this one 24 24 what you'll get here minus into plus minus 14 minus 14 minus minus plus 2 lambda equals to 0 now let me continue one more you see 8 minus lambda into you write this in order wise first let me write lambda square lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 7 minus 10 lambda now 21 minus 16 will be 5 plus 6 into first I am writing lambda here 6 lambda now minus 18 minus 48 will be minus 18 and minus 48 58 64 minus 64 minus 64 then lastly plus 2 into here also let me write lambda first 2 lambda 24 minus 14 is plus 10 equals to 0 now let me multiply all the numbers okay first let me start from here 8 now we multiply with 8 all these three numbers 8 into lambda square 8 lambda square 8 tens are 80 lambda 8 fives are 40 now minus into plus minus lambda into lambda square lambda cube minus into minus plus 10 lambda into lambda lambda square minus into plus minus 5 into lambda 5 lambda now multiply here plus 6 is 36 lambda plus into minus minus 6 4 is 24 carry 2 6 is 36 37 38 now here 2 to the 4 lambda plus 20 equals to 0 equals to 0 here as we see we done a little mistake here here we are having you know plus 8 plus 8 so minus 18 plus 6 lambda this is plus 8 plus 8 let me change this one no 8 minus 18 will be minus 10 so this will be minus 10 so if you multiply 36 lambda minus this will be 60 minus 60 okay so now let me continue this one now the next step let me start with lambda cube the first is lambda cube minus lambda cube now you write lambda 8 plus 10 is 18 plus plus 18 lambda square plus 18 lambda square then next one is lambda minus 80 minus 5 minus 85 plus 40 36 plus minus 85 plus 40 will be minus 45 lambda 45 lambda now 40 plus 20 60 plus 60 minus 60 will get cancelled equals to 0 now let me take minus common this minus will become plus this plus will become minus this minus will become plus see we can solve in many ways but here we can use the calcium you suppose this as cube equation ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equals to 0 in calculator we have to show the values so here a is 1 in place of 1 in calculator we can write 1 b is minus 18 c is 45 c is 45 and lastly we don't have d no so let me take like this zero equals to zero so d equals to zero now it's my request to see that how to use the calci you ask with your one of your elders okay your seniors i'm just say showing you in short okay you see here how to start first first sorry you see i am showing little huh, if how to start the first you have to take the mode if you take the mode we have very well is the third one is sorry the fifth one is equations we require equations so you press the fifth button so we'll get the equations here here we are having the first one is two variable equation second one is three variable equation third is quadratic and fourth is cubic so we have to take fourth one so press four number four so now we have to enter the values of a a is one so let me first enter one equals to b is minus 18 minus 18 equals to c is 45 c equals to 45 equals to d is zero so we'll get the values the first value is 15 it is given as the first value is 15 lambda equals to 15 then equals to lambda equals to 3 
then equals to lambda equals to 0. So we get the three values of we get the three values of the equation. So how to solve now these are called the Egan values. Egan values are Latin roots or characteristic roots. Okay. Therefore, Egan values are now we got the values are 0, 3, 15. Now for each value we have to find each three vectors. For the value of lambda equals to 0, we will get one vector. Similarly, for the value of 3, lambda equals to 3, we will get one vector and for lambda equals to 15. Now, see, let me see how to solve the four vectors. Now, see here, we are having a this value. Let xi equals to x1, x2, x3 be the Egan vectors for lambda equals to 0, 3, 15. That is, i1 means x1, x2, x3. Let be the three vectors for 0, 3, 15. Now, we have to substitute these values here. See here a minus lambda I just now we un understand how to solve this one attach minus lambda with these three numbers add minus lambda 8 minus lambda minus 6 2 minus 6 7 minus lambda minus 4 2 minus 4 3 minus lambda into x we have taken x as x1 x2 x3 equals to 0 now first we have to keep the lambda value 0 we will get one vector then 3 then 50 so let me start for lambda equals to 0 for i am writing like this for lambda equals to 0 now substitute 0 here 8 minus 0 will be 8 minus 6 2 minus 6 7 minus 0 will be 7 minus 4 2 minus 4 3 into x1 x2 x3 equals to 0 now if we solve this one we this we have to multiply row into column row into column row into column we get three equations 8 into x1 we write 8 x1 minus 6 x2 plus 2 x3 equals to 0 8 x1 minus 6 x2 plus 2 x3 like this minus 6 x1 plus 7 x2 minus 4 x3 row into column minus 6 x1 plus 7 x2 minus 4 x3 equals to 0 lastly 2 x1 minus 4 x2 plus 3 x3 equals to 0. Now let me solve. There are many methods to solve. I am using cross multiplication method. I am starting with here. We have to solve this. We will get the x1, x2, x3 ratios. Not the exact values. We are getting ratios. Now we have to start from minus 6 here. Minus 6, 2, 8, minus 6. Cross multiplication. We have to start from the middle number and end with the middle, middle number. Minus 6, 2, 8, minus 6. Here also come here. 7 or you can take these values are uh, small numbers any two we can take from these three equations any two we can take I am taking this one minus 4 3 2 minus 4 minus 4 3 2 minus 4 here x1 x2 x3 now we have to cross multiply this one let's see here how to cross multiply first you write x1 divided by multiply this two minus 18 minus multiply this to minus 8 minus minus plus 8 equals to x2 divided by 2 to the 4 minus 3 8 is 24 again lastly is x3 divided by minus 32 minus minus plus 12 so what we are getting here x1 by minus 10 equals to x2 by minus 20 equals to x3 by minus 20 minus 20 see here let me cancel this one now x1 by minus 10 minus you see you can cancel 10 into 1 2 2 so i'm writing here x1 by minus 1 equals to x2 by minus 2 equals to x3 by minus 3 you see when we get more minus we have to take common minus because it's ratio we can x uh, change into plus we can change this we can multiply all this with minus so this will become plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. If we are having 2 minus also, we have to change. Suppose we are having this 2 minus. Now multiply with minus x1 by 1. It will be x2 by minus 2. It will be x3 by 3. Listen carefully. We must try to minimize the minus numbers. Minimize the minus numbers. If we are having 2 plus numbers, no problem. If we are having all the 3 plus, no problem. If we are having minus numbers, 2 or minus 3 let we multiply with minus 1 let we multiply with minus 1 
so we will get this one plus this one plus this will become minus so it is better to write like this not like this okay so we are having three minus here so let me multiply this all with minus so this will become x1 by 1 x2 by 2 x3 by 3 because it's better it's look good to, good to write like this not like this therefore we got the first vector as x1 equals to 1 2 3 let me solve another two values here we are having minus 2 no? this is minus 2 sorry so this will be 2 so the first vector is 1 2 2 1 2 2 now for next vector for next vector what we have to do instead of taking lambda equals to 0 we have to take lambda equals to 3 here lambda equals to 3 now let me change if we put lambda equals to 3 here 8 minus 3 will become 5 8 minus 3 will become 5 7 minus 3 will become 4 7 minus 3 become 4 and 3 minus 3 will become 0 okay so let me solve these three equations we will get one more vector okay now see here let me change this one now we have to multiply this according to we have to multiply this according to the multiplication method row into column 5 to x1 5 x1 minus 6 x2 plus 2 x3 equals to 0 5 x1 minus 6 x2 plus 2 x3 here minus 6 x1 minus 6 x1 minus 4 x2 minus 4 sorry plus 4 x2 minus 4 x3 equals to 0 minus 6 x1 plus 4 x2 minus 4 x3 lastly 2 x1 minus 4 x2 plus 0 x3 equals to 0 now we let me solve any two equations from this i am taking first one start from the middle number minus 6 2 5 minus 6 minus 6 2 5 minus 6 now here let me take this number minus 4 we can take any two equations 0 2 minus 4 we can take any two equations to solve this one so this is x1 this is x2 this is x3 now x1 divided by 0 minus minus 8 again minus we will get plus equals to x2 by 2 to the 4 minus 0 x3 by minus 20 minus minus 16 minus minus plus sorry 12 so this you will get x1 by 8 equals to x2 by 4 equals to x3 by minus 8 now we can cancel this 4 1s 4 2s 4 2s these are the ratios we can have many values let me take one value as x2 equals to second vector 2 1 minus 2 2 1 minus 2 2 1 minus 2 so this is the second vector we got second vector one more we have to take one more we have to find now for that let me take now the last one is lambda equals to minus sorry lambda equals to 50. see here if we put lambda equals to 15 8 minus 15 will be minus 7 7 minus 15 minus 8 3 minus 15 minus 2 now let me make the equations minus 7 x1 minus 6 x2 plus 2 x3 equals to 0 and next one is minus 6 x1 minus 8 x2 minus 4 x3 equals to 0 and lastly one more 2 x1 2 x1 minus 4 x2 minus 12 x3 equals to 0 let me take the first equation minus 6 2 minus 7 minus 6 see suppose let me take minus common this all will become plus now let me start from 8 8 4 6 8 x1 x2 x3 x1 x2 x3 so you see here x1 divided by minus 24 minus 16 no x2 divided by 2 into 6 12 minus minus 28 minus one is plus 28 equals to x3 divided by minus 56 minus minus 36 minus one is plus 36 so we get here x1 by minus 40 equals to x2 by 30, 28 38 40 and x3 by minus 20 now we can cancel no, 20 ones are 20 twos are 20 twos are see here i'm adding no? x1 by minus 2 equals to x2 by 2 equals to x3 by minus 1 
x3 by minus 1. See here, just to explain, here we are having minus 2. 2 times we are getting minus, here also, here also. If you take minus common or multiply it with minus 1, this will become plus, this will become plus, this will become minus. So, better to write in that way. So, because these are the ratios, we can multiply with any number, these three numbers. If you multiply with minus, this will become plus 2. If you multiply with minus, this will become minus 2. If you multiply with minus, this will become plus. So, better to write like this. Both are correct, both are correct. But here we are writing 2 times minus, here we are writing 1 times minus. So, better is to write like this. Therefore, the third vector is x3 equals to 2 minus 2, 1. So, lastly, we get, we write, we can write that. Therefore, we have finished the question. Therefore, the Egan values. Therefore, now we can write the Egan values as, therefore, Egan values. What are the Egan values? Egan values are lambda equals to 0, 3, 15. In the same way, we can write Egan vectors. Egan vectors are just now we find 2 minus 2, 1. Before this, the second one is we got the three values for the one is this one, and the another is 2, 1, minus 2. And the third one is just now we have done. Let me write all the values 1, 2. So, this is the method to solve the Egan values and Egan vectors. Let me do one more question in short. Okay. Now, see here one more question. I wrote all the steps because it takes so lengthy if we go in detail. Just I am explaining the methods. Now, what is the first step? Character equation a minus lambda equals to 0. This will become 5 minus lambda, 6 minus lambda, 7 minus lambda. Okay. Now, we when we expand this determinant 5 minus lambda into this 2 minus this 2. And if we take this one, this minus 2 will be have to take plus 2. So, if we hide this one, minus 2 into 7 minus 4, minus 0 into a number 0. The last number is 0 here. So, we know the end. We doesn't require 0 because 0 into a number is 0. So, you leave this one. Now, if you multiply this, we will get a quadratic equation. 5 minus lambda into lambda square minus 13 lambda plus 38 plus 2 into 24 minus, sorry, 2 lambda minus 14. If you multiply this all things, we will get a cubic equation. This cubic equation from calculator, you take the values of lambda, you will get 3 values. 3, 6, 9. Now, for the corresponding values, we have to take vectors x equals to x1, x2, x3. We have to substitute in this a minus lambda i into x. This is a very important step. We have to substitute in a minus lambda is this matrix into x. x is x1, x2, x3. a minus lambda i into x equals to 0. a minus lambda i into x equals to 0. So, a minus lambda i already we wrote, okay. The first case, we, we will put in place of lambda 3, then 6, then 9. First, let me pay, put lambda equals to 3. So, 5 minus 3 will be 2. 6 minus 3 will be 3. 7 minus 3 will be 4. Now, if you multiply, you get 3 equations. If you multiply, you will get 3 equations. Now, if you solve this one equations in the pre, like the previous method, cross multiplication method, you, first get, you will get the first vector as 2, 2 minus 1. 2, 2 minus 1. Now, the second case is for lambda equals to 6. If you put lambda value 6, you will get this matrix. Now multiply you get three equations. Multiply you get three equations. Now if you solve the three equations, you will get the second vector 2 minus 1, 2, 2 minus 1, 2. In the no the, the last step is for lambda equals to 9. File lambda equals to 9. If you again put the lambda of value, you will get this matrix into x1, x2, x3. Now these are the three equations. If you solve these equations, you will get the third vector minus 1, 2, 2. Here you are getting 2 minus now, so multiply with minus, you will get the plus. In short, I explained you, you try this by yourself. You try this question by yourself. This is a very important question. You try by yourself. If you have any doubts or you have any mistakes, you see the procedure. Okay? You see the, see the procedure. I, I wrote all the procedure, all the steps here. If you have any doubts, you see this, you try by yourself. Inshallah, in the next class, we will continue again Egan values and Egan vectors. Because sometimes we get the lambda's values same two lambda values equal. For instance, we are getting lambda equals to C here. Lambda equals to 2 comma 2 comma 6. Suppose if we get two values, if we get two values same, then how to solve it? Let me see in the next class. So, I request you all my students to uh, subscribe this and share with your friends. Inshallah, we will continue in the next class.